John Newman was born in Bohemia in the current day Czech Republic on March 28, 1811. Of small stature and fragile health, he attended school in the town of Budweiser. At the age of 20, he entered the seminary and after overcoming many difficulties, he was ordained a priest in New York. He learned to speak six languages and was known for his work with immigrants. Father Newman was named Bishop of Philadelphia on March 2, 1852. As bishop, he was the first to create a diocesan school system, building more than 100 schools and becoming a founding father of Catholic education in the United States. He founded the Sisters of the Third Order of St. Francis, who devoted themselves to teaching. On January 5, 1860, he unexpectedly collapsed on the street and died. He was beatified by Pope Paul VI on October 13, 1963, and was canonized on June 17, 1977. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Father. Today we celebrate one of the Redemptorist saints, Saint John, never more human, a bishop. Let us begin our Eucharist. Let us bring all our petition, our thanksgiving, thanksgiving and our hope by the intercession of St. John Nepomuk Newman. Let us keep silent for a moment. Let us realize that we are sinners. We ask forgiveness from God. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in, in what, what I have done, done and, and in what, what I have failed to do. Through, through my fault, through my, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, you wished your peace of St. John Nepomuk Newman to sign forth for his pastoral ministry among the most abandoned. Grant that, imitating his untiring seal for holiness in the discharge of daily work, we may be able to serve your church fruitfully. For we ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who live and reign with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if I proclaim the gospel, this gives me no ground for boasting. For an obligation is laid on me, and woe to me if I do not proclaim the gospel. For if I do this on my own will, I have a reward. But if not, of my own will, I am entrusted with a commission. What then is my reward? Just this. That in my proclamation, I may make my gospel free of charge, so as not to make full use of my rights in the gospel. For though I am free with respect to all, I have made myself a slave to all, so that I might win more of them. To the weak, I became weak, so that I might win the weak. I have become all things to all people that I might by all means save more. I do it all for the sake of the gospel, so that I may share in its blessing. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he give me repose. Near restful waters he leads me to revive my drooping spirit. The Lord leads us on the path. He guides me along the right path. He is true to his name. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. You are th there with your crook and your staff. With this, you give me comfort. You have prepared a banquet for me in the sight of my foes. My head you have anointed with oil. My cup is overflowing. The Lord leads us on the path of peace. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell forever and ever. The Lord leads us on the path of peace. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, 
sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me. Just as the father knows me and I know the father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also. And they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock and one shepherd. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, today we celebrate one of Redemptorist saints who worked like a mule, St. John Nepomuk Newman. He studied, he wrote, he prayed, he preached, he traveled. He built, he founded, he guided, he taught. And then one day, in Philadelphia, he collapsed and died in the street. St. John Nepomuk Newman, he had worked himself to death. He threw himself into his work with no concern for his own well-being. He was a tornado of apostolic activity. He was everywhere. He did everything. Seal for his people consumed him. Seal for his people killed him, in fact. His love for God was practiced by following the example of Jesus. As it says in today's gospel, a good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. His total love for God and his people inspired us to also dare to give ourselves totally for the salvation of others. St. John Nepomuk Newman provides an example that the beginning of human love is for God and that love must end in our fellow human being. These two loves are inseparable. My dear brothers and sisters, let us draw in on our total love for God and let us learn to pour out that love for our fellow human beings as one act of humanity. Amen. Prayer of the faithful. Let us pray to God, our merciful Father, who made St. John, St. John Nepomuk, a great apostle of bringing all souls to Christ and dedicate, dedicate his service to the afflicted and the abandoned. Our response, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the pastors of the church, that they may have deep concern for the material as well as the spiritual needs of the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the congregation of the Most Holy Redeemer, that the members may keep alive the spirit of St. John Newman in their hearts and in their works. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For our community, that it may be motivated in its endeavors by the spirit of mission and charity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who offered masses to be celebrated in the national shrine of our Mother of Perpetual Health, 
May God answer their petitions and hear their thanksgiving. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, Father of mercy, grant us and the Christian world a seer of the apostolic seal and love for the poor which inspired the life of St. John Newman. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. of the vine and of the earth, the works of our hands. Receive the gifts we humbly pray, and make them on this holy day an acceptable sacrifice as that which was offered by Christ. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Graciously look down, O Lord, upon the sacrifice which we offer you and ignite within us the fire of your love with which the holy bishop John was aflame. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us, on the festival of St. John Nepomuk Newman, you bid your church rejoice. So too, you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his word of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. the Father of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the jewel, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith For us, we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Jesse our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy will come them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Apostles and all the saints, especially St. John Nepomuk Newman, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced through eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As a Savior command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to pray. As Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. Gracious God, refreshed with the body and blood of your beloved Son, we humbly pray that through the merits of your blessed Bishop John Nepomuk Newman, we may follow on earth our chief shepherd himself and come to the eternal banquet of heaven. For we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless us all in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is over. Let us go to proclaim the goodness of God. Thanks be to God.